This is a jacket called A Coat for Two Occasions, a garment that I made to wear to my funeral and cremation. I was in an oriental grocery once upon a time, and they were having a closeout on Joss paper. It's um, decorative paper, sometimes called spirit money, that is burned ceremoniously at some Asian funerals. And as the smoke rises to the heavens, it's believed that your thoughts and your prayers are carried to your loved ones. And I thought that was such a beautiful ritual that I wanted to be able to burn my own Joss paper at my own demise. I like that tension that happens between the funny and the horrific, and that which is beautiful and is repulsive. Those tensions keep me interested, and I think that they help engage the viewer. I generally say that I'm a maker of paper garments. As a girl, my mother sewed the majority of our garments, and so I was brought up around fabric, making doll clothes, making puppets, and so for me, it was familiar territory. These are called corsets of talus, and they are um, works from a larger series. I made about 10 of these corsets. My work had always been about the body, I've been fascinated by the body because there's so many different ways to look at it and talk about it. But then I just got so frustrated as a graduate student painting about the body. And one day it was like this light bulb went off over my head and I just thought I should be working three-dimensionally. This one is made with bottle caps. In the summertime when I go to the drive-in theaters, I pick them up. The second one here is surfaced with dehydrated soul. It makes reference the, to skin itself. This last one here is surfaced with dehydrated cherry tomatoes, and then it's lined with these um, tassels made of human hair. Hair is a reoccurring theme in my work. It represents so many different things. When I was a girl, my father told me that eating tomatoes would make me big and strong and hairy chested. As a small child, I recognize that chest hair was appropriate for a man, but if not, of course, for a woman. And um, that's why I stopped eating tomatoes and I avoided it for 20 years. I like to incorporate materials that help me tell my stories. So it made sense to me that I should use those very materials, tomatoes and hairs, that tormented me. My brother went on to eat tomatoes, and you should see how hairy he turned out. This is a piece called Choker. It's about how my seasonal allergies appear to be worsening as I age. During the summertime when Minnesota is at its most beautiful, I am feeling my worst. And I seem to be taking decongestants on a daily basis as the elm seeds, in this case, are falling from the sky. So it's about that kind of cyclical process and also the kind of choking physical effects that I feel during the summertime. This is the hair of my friend Trin. I started working with handmade paper because it was the thing that most aligned or related to skin. After making sheets, they, I can turn them into yardage by adhering 
the small sheets together. I'm generally pulling sheets of paper and creating yardage to make the garments, or sometimes I cast the paper. Then I cover it with things that help me tell the stories. When I was in Austria, I went to my family's hometown of Spitz. And when I was there looking for evidence of my family, the apricots were in season. And they were literally falling from the trees. My husband and I ate apricots until we could eat no more. I don't worry about preserving my work. The body, of course, will change and decay in time, and so it's appropriate that my work should do the same. I love making the work. I love the material experience of handling the work, of creating patterns, of stitching the garments up, embellishing them by spending time with the work and reflecting upon the experience. Equally so, I love telling the stories. I love seeing people nod their heads in agreement. I can't imagine doing anything else. Minnesota Original is made possible by the State Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota.